Lo and behold, lo and behold, the Pizza Hut of Kenston, North Carolina. Now why am I filming the Pizza Hut of Kenston, North Carolina? Because it fits in with my story. As a matter of fact, on that side right there, fits in with my story. How does this video of Pizza Hut tie in to the video you are about to see? Well... It happened on a September night, on a Friday night, sometime between 11.30 to 11.45. I was getting off work, and I walked into the dining room. I had my red plastic book bag with my notebook and my ordinary clothes in it to go into the restroom to change out of my uniform so I could sit, sit in as a customer and have my favorite waitress, Sissy, wait on me. I had fallen in love with her. The reason I got the job was there was because of her. Well, as I came out into the dining room, as I was walking towards the restroom, I noticed a group in a group of about 12 to 15 young people, this good looking girl, tall, auburn hair, button up shirt with the sleeves rolled up, long, long, like, long, trim, sumptuous forearms with those out of the, coming out of those sleeves. This girl looked good. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd have to say this girl was probably a 10 or an 11. <laughs> well, I turned and walked to a booth and threw my book sack into that booth so, I would have some, so that when I came out, I could sit there and work on my notebook and glance at her every so often. Well, I took my uh, change of clothes, hurried to the bathroom, and hurried, hurried, hurried to change, wanting to get back out before they could finish their meal and leave and came back out and sat down. Man, that girl looked good. I started writing in my notebook, but I was so excited, so wired. I kept, I couldn't concentrate on what I was writing, so I would make a mistake. I'd rip the notebook page out of my notebook, crumble it up loudly, you know, just hoping, just hoping she'd notice and would look at me. <laughs> I started writing on on, on the fourth page or something like that and I heard a voice call at me what you working so hard on over there it was a girl <laughs> I looked up I'm like trying to affect some modesty oh it's nothing it's just a game I'm working on when you finish it we'll play with you come over here and show it to us I'm like oh, give me a minute just to get my stuff up well, before I could get up, her and another, a good looking girl too, long with long, brunette, good looking girl, I ain't mean, healthy looking girl. They got up and started walking over to my booth. Well, one of the guys called out to her and said, ooh, go get him, go get him, Joanne. And she's like, don't listen to him. I've already got a boyfriend. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> uh, where is your boyfriend? Riley, move these. Well, I like the way she took control. So I moved my book sack out of the other booth opposite me and put them beside me and she and she said, thank you. That's her. As the other girl slid in first and then she slid in behind her. She had the long legs like a goddess. She was hotter than the model. I bet you fresh out of college. I was 17. Looking up what? Suddenly, she was sitting down across from me. Such a striking creature. Like a bolt of lightning. She was striking up a conversation with me. What was I supposed to say? I was trembling like the stormy seas. I was shaking like the waves in a hurricane. I asked for her name. Joanne, she told me. I wrote it down in my notebook. She gently scolded me for leaving off the E. There was uh, a week or so ago, I, had, I was talking to two friends probably in the same booth that I knew from grade school. Benji and his sister. They were sitting across from me in the same booth. Nothing spectacular, just another human being sitting across from me. But now, we had two top-notch, super good-looking girls sitting across from me. This is not normal, man. This didn't happen. And yet, here it was, happening. I was shaking like a leaf. I had to start talking. They weren't saying nothing after this. And they were just waiting for me to start talking. I had to say something. 
because I was hoping they didn't notice how badly I was shaking. So I started talking, and then she, this girl says, wait a minute, wait, let me get this straight. I'm like, oh no, I done messed it up already. Well, at least I still got sissy as my friend. You don't like, in real life, violence by, in real, on t if you're watching TV or a show, you like violence, I guess. But in real life, it bothers you. Yes. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, <laughs> I didn't mess up at all. So we were talking, she asked, do you like working here? I'm like, oh yes, I love it. And so I figured I'd show her the code, uh, alphabet, I was working on how to change the alphabet letters around, use the number code. And so I started showing her how this code worked. And she said, wait a minute, wait a minute, back up. You're going too fast for me. Explain this shit to me. So I went back and started explaining it more in detail to her. And she's like, oh, it finally lit up in her mind. And she be, and that was the first time she was like, oh. So I said, okay, well, let me tell you. I showed her what my name was in the code. Give the buzz back. No, give the buzz back. Ravanic or Cuxta. So I show, asked for their name. Joanne was her name. Her name was Joanne. So I spelled it out. Capital J O Capital A N N. So I spelled it out, capital J O capital A N N, and showed her Qet. She said, "Wait a minute, wait a minute. You spelled my name wrong, and it's not going to come out right if you do that." So I asked her, "How do you spell your name?" And J O A N N E. When it, then it came out as Puetta. Girl was smart. Impressed me that this girl was smart too. Had some good presence of mind. I asked the other girl her name. Michelle. Her name came out Sog Bar. That's the only, I think she was there either for moral support for her friend or just to make sure her friend didn't get in too deep. <laughs> her long lost Joanne didn't get herself into something she couldn't get out. And because that's the only thing she said to me. Well, we were talking and she asked, and, and then and I'm trying to think, there's one more thing we, we talked about. I forgot. She, yeah, she asked me if I liked working there. And I, well, by the time, my waitress, Sissy, comes over about to take my order, but she sees the two girls sitting there and she steps back and says, Oh, so you all may have met Chris, haven't you? And like, yeah, well, he started working here about two, he came to work for us about two months ago. So Sissy knew these people. <laughs> Turn! And we talked a little bit more, and finally, that pizza came out, and she explained that they had to go because the pizza was, was out, and so, you know. They went back to the table and I continued writing in my notebook, made another mistake, tore the page out, crumpled it up. I looked up and there she was, sitting at her table, looking at me. So I did that back to her. Boy, that girl, she was like an injection of steroids. She really had me pumping. She had me thinking I was a Mac Daddy. She was getting frisky like a kitty on catnip. I gazed into the dark brown eyes. They were shining like neon lights. That's when I noticed red hearts in her hair. I was stone cold sober. We were both of us drunk at this moment. How did I forget to get her to give me her last name? She said she had to leave me. She'd be back again in a week to see me. It's been 22 and one half years since then. Writing this, I'm still waiting. Growing older. <sighs> Why didn't I get her to give me her last name? I had a feeling they'd come back and talk to me again. Well, not a day, but she would at least. And sure enough, I was right, when it was time for them to go, I remember in the group there was this real big woman who kept laughing at something. She was ticked about something. She got <laughs> this real big woman. But anyway, and I, and anyways, I was thinking, man, I'm glad it, it was the, other, the good looking girl who came to talk to me, not her. I would, you know, because this, she was the best looking girl in the whole, mm. well, finally, one of the guys said, well, it was time to go. She said, well, let me go say goodbye to my friend. She got up, pushed the chair in, came over, sat back down, talking to me. She was more frisky, more loose, more like a cat on cat than now. So I asked her, where was the other girl? Oh, she had to go home. So we were talking, and she said, oh, the reason I asked you if you liked working here was because you looked like some college student who just couldn't wait to hurry to get out of here. <laughs> Punctuated with a nervous laughter. I'm like, oh, no, I love working here. I was just ready to and so, and, and that's another thing that struck me. Back then I wanted to look older than what I was. 
and I was only 17. And this girl was probably you know, from 21 to 23, and she was thinking I was an older guy. Yes, I loved it. And so I showed her some more of my code, and she was more like, ah. Showed her some, and she looked up at me with eyes that actually glowed. And, and ah. So I showed, so I showed her a, a phrase, Baru Orokazaji, and translated it for, hello, I love pizza. She's like, look at that. I knew what that word was before you told me. I, I, oh, happy. <laughs> and so finally the guy was like, come on, Joanne. It's time to go. She's like, okay, I'll be in in a minute. And we kept talking a little bit longer. Finally, he, kind of, he calls out there. Come on, Joanne. And she's like, look at him trying to rush me. <laughs> wow. I was impressed with this girl. Where are you, Joanne? I just got to see you one more time to know that that conversation, if you, the only, were you talking to me because you were drunk and a little bit tipsy and that made you think I was a good looking guy? Or why did you talk to me? I'm hoping, I'm hoping against hope that she thought I was a good looking guy and saw something in me that was attracted to her. And I'm hoping she wasn't just drunk and tipsy and, and forgot about it the next day. Joe, 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 I just gotta know that cold September night, that Friday night, did I light your fire? Was it me? Do you even remember? Or were you simply tipsy on beer? Where are you, Joanne? My only clue where this girl could be is Raleigh, North Carolina. But heck, she's probably married, divorced, remarried, got two or three kids. Where are you, Joanne? I regret my re only regret for this whole encounter was I didn't ask her a single question about herself. Well, I did ask her she, when my pizza came out the second time she was over there talking. I did offer her some of my pizza. Said no thanks. I, I'm such a selfish individual. I should have asked her what her name was. What I didn't even ask her her last name. What school she went to. What college did she go to? College. Where she worked at. I'm full of regrets. I just wish I would have asked her a little bit more about her. I've tried. She knew Sissy. So I've asked Sissy, and Sissy's best friend who used to be the assistant manager there, but they haven't been able to help me. They know the name, but they just can't help me. Where are you, Joanne? One last shot. Joanne, 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 Joanne,